Yuito, do you have a minute? There's something I want to talk to you about. Did something happen? You look serious. I got a message from my uncle. You mean the OSF hospital's chairman? Can you tell me what it was about? Yeah, but be ready. You won't like it, he said. It seems you've learned a lot about the hospital recently, but you don't need to get involved. If you consider yourself a part of the Ichijo family, then keep your mouth shut. He's clearly threatening you. Yeah. I was shocked. But beyond that, I'm just so frustrated. We worked hard to uncover the government's secret, but they're still able to get away with it. We managed to expose so much to the public, but the top brass are trying to save themselves by eliminating the evidence. They can't go unpunished for what they did. Isn't there anything we can do? Are you sure, though? I mean, no matter what they did, they're still your family. Isn't this hard for you? I'm fine. It doesn't matter if they're family. Remember what I told you before? We've seen so many bad parts of the OSF. What my uncle did was unforgivable. I can't look the other way if I'm going to be able to stand proudly as a member of the OSF. Then let's think together on how we can go after the chairman's crimes. We basically need to find irrefutable evidence that my uncle and the others were connected to that research. Yeah, but that data isn't going to be something we can easily access. If there's any evidence left, it would need to be somewhere secret. Oh, like the old OSF hospital. That seems possible. There are others there, so maybe they think nobody would go investigate it. Let's check it out together. You'll come too? I'm happy to hear you say that, but... Come on. I said I'd help you any way I could. Thanks. Let's go together then.
someone's being attacked by others. Could it be a researcher? We can worry about that later. We need to save her first. You're right. Let's hurry. There's too many of them! Defeating them would be hard enough. But I'm worried I'm going to hurt her trying to protect her. What are we going to do? Can you create a wall of fire around her to keep the others away? If I do that, the woman would get burned too. Keep the intensity down and have it pointing towards the outside. That should keep her safe in the center. On paper, sure. But my power is hard to control. I'm not sure I can do it. But if we don't do something, watch out! <laughs> Help me! Please! I don't want to die! <gasps> you can do it. I just need you to hold it for a short time while I draw the others away. Okay, I'll try. Take care of these guys. Did it work? Right. Now's my chance. Are you all right? Come this way. Th thank you. I thought I was dead. Can you still fight? Yeah, I'm still good. Now to unleash everything I have. Something like oil. Don't get it on you. I hit the outer shell. I think I can break it if I focus my attacks. Do it, you eat <laughs> Yes. all of them yeah thank goodness you came up with that fire idea 
Sorry I put you on the spot, but I couldn't have protected her without you. Oh, right. Where's the woman we saved? Um, first, let me thank you for saving me. Please. We only did our jobs as members of the OSF. So you're with the OSF like I thought. Why did you come here? Was it to arrest me? No, we mean you no harm. Wait, are you Yuito Sumaragi, the traitor? I guess that means you're not with the government. Okay, I'll trust you. Either way, it doesn't look like I'll be able to get out of here on my own. Can we ask what you came here to do? Are you a researcher here? Yes, I've personally conducted many inhumane experiments here. But I just couldn't go on with it anymore. Doing those terrible things to innocent people. The guilt kept me awake at night. Then I saw that broadcast and thought it was my chance to atone for what I did. Do you mean the video of Kaito we sent out from Arahabaki? You did that? Then I need to thank you again. That broadcast helped me make up my mind. I need to reveal the truth and have everyone, including myself, receive the proper punishment we deserve. And it seems like we are here for the same reasons. What do you mean? We came here looking for evidence against the people running the hospital. We thought there must be some here. I see. Then I guess we're both lucky. I just retrieved some data from a locked terminal in the back. It lists who was directing the research and for what reasons. It even has signatures with their names. If we can make these public, even the higher-ups won't be able to make excuses. That means we'll achieve our objective if we safely escort her back to the city. Yeah. I can't believe you snuck in here by yourself, when the place is crawling with others. There's a passageway just for the researchers, to avoid the others. It was blocked halfway through, so I had no choice. I was really scared. Well, you're safe now. We'll protect you. I can make my own way back from here. Thank you for escorting me this far. It was our pleasure. I feel so relieved to learn there was someone in that hospital with a conscience. And you both gave me hope. A chance to right my mistakes. How do you plan to release the information you found? I plan to take it to the press first, but I'm not sure if there's any organization that's not in bed with the government. If there's not, then I'll think of something else. Okay, good luck. Yes, thank you. You look relieved. Yeah. I feel like I am starting to understand what Gemma said the other day. You mean about a reason to fight? Uh-huh. But maybe fighting isn't the only thing I want to do. I thought my pyrokinesis was only good for burning my enemies. But now I see I can use it to protect someone too. I feel like there's something there. I mean, I'm still working it out, so I'll have to give it some more thought. I'm glad you seem to be onto something. I hope my idea helped. Yeah, it really helped. Thanks. Well, let's head back to the hideout. Huh? You're flushed. Do you have a fever? What? N no I was just admiring... Admiring what? Oh, uh, like... You and everyone else? I was hoping I'll always be with all of you. I feel like you really trust me. Of course. I trust you the most. Hey, Yuito. Our jobs are dangerous. What do you think about holding on to a charm just in case? 
A charm? Oh, you don't seem that enthusiastic about it. I thought it was a good idea. It's very effective. If you ever change your mind, just come talk to me. I feel like I know you a little better now. We still have a long way to go, though. We should talk more. I think we'll get along fine. Yuito, you working hard today, too? Huh? Well, I, I guess so. That's good. Keep it up, then. How was that? You got a thing for me yet? I don't really get you, but I guess in a way you are intriguing. Yuito, I need to talk to you. Can you come with me to Masubi's? We can't talk here? It's better if we do it at Masubi's. Uh, okay. Let's go then. What is it? I find it hard to believe you need to talk to me about something. First, I want you to look at this. The menu? Okay. New menu festival. Finish our large portions within the time limit and your meal is free. Also, receive a bonus case of soda. Wait, you're not asking me to do this, are you? I sure am. You eat, and I get the soda prize. Don't worry, if you can't finish it all, I'll pay for the meal. This is what you wanted to talk about? I don't know if I'm up for it. It's to advertise the new menu, so the food is about three times more than usual. A kid your age should have a pretty big appetite. You can totally do it. Look, it says you need a reservation. I don't think... Don't worry, I already made one. You planned everything already. I guess I'd feel bad canceling on them now. Okay, I'll try. <sighs> oh, I'm so full. Good job. That was a lot of food. You didn't let me down. Still, I may have pushed you too hard. Next time, I'll get you whatever food you like to make it up to you. No, no more food. I know. Can you come adjust SAS with me now? You want me to adjust your SAS? I heard you're really good at that stuff. Hmm. I mean, I won't force you or anything. Something was just feeling off about it. But... Okay, fine. I guess I owe you for helping me get what I want. You mean the soda? You must really love soda. So much that I can't refuse your request. Let's get this over with already. Sorry for asking you to do this. It's fine. You're a lot more impatient than I thought, though. I don't see why we couldn't do the SAS adjustments later. This was a good opportunity to get you to look at it. And I wanted to get it done as soon as possible. I don't want to run into issues with the SAS during battle. I don't like causing problems for everyone. Shouldn't you be more concerned with your own survival? It almost sounds like you don't prioritize your own life. I guess you could say that. You weren't even aware of it? Great. Another one destined for an early death. You should be letting loose a little more. Learn how to slack off a little. Slack off? No, I couldn't. It's important to know when you can ease up. Taking proper breaks will increase your overall productivity. In other words, skipping out on work is the rational recommendation. What happens if the others attack when you're easing up? And someone gets hurt? Oh, you're so serious. Is it any fun to live like that? I can't help it. That's just the way I am. I know someone just like you. 
I feel so sorry for you both. Who else is like me? Okay, we're done. The RSG Support Center is closed for the day. Please contact us again during our regular business hours. Huh? That was quick. Thanks. Now we're even for today. That means I can enjoy my soda guilt-free. Also, don't work too hard. See ya. She's... different. Um, do you think we can talk for a minute, Kasane? Sure. What is it? I just wanted to say thank you. I owe you my life. You owe me your life? I don't know what you mean. <sighs> She's just as blunt as always. You know, I actually kind of missed that about her. Oh, you know, at Arahabaki. You saved me when I almost lost my memory. Oh. Actually, it wasn't just me that saved you. It was Hanabi and all of us. I'm grateful to everyone, but the only reason everyone was there in the first place was because you brought them. If even one of them hadn't been, my memory might not be complete. So, I appreciate your help. Thank you. Alright, I accept your thanks. <laughs> yeah, it means a lot. You know, it's kind of weird just talking normally like this. Talking normally is weird? I mean, we were enemies for a while, and now we're fighting together. Life sure is full of strange, unexpected things. Sometimes, I think that the fact that two people exist with the same power, in the same time, at the same place, might mean it's fate. You can go ahead and interpret it however you want, but I don't believe in fate. <laughs> That's the Kasane I know. I guess it is kind of an exaggeration. Well, I would say it's more logical than an exaggeration. We're only here because we chose to be. Whenever I hear the word fate, it just sounds like something given to us. Oh. That's not really what I meant, but I see how it could sound like that. When I think of fate, I think of something from a past life, or like there's a strange power at work. But yeah. I just don't feel like I entirely chose this. What do you mean? Fate does seem like something being forced on us. But we meet and part with so many people all the time. All of that put together makes me who I am now. Like, my ability to choose is thanks to everyone. If that's what you mean, I feel the same. If I were by myself, I wouldn't have been able to choose this path. I haven't told you yet, have I? That my sister Naomi is dead. What? She... What happened? She saved me when we were fighting Togetsu. She always saved me, every time right to the end. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't have been there to help. I didn't know and... It's nothing for you to worry about. I just thought of it while we were talking. The fact that I'm here and fighting alongside you is thanks to her. It is? My first impression of you was, he's not worth my time. If my sister didn't focus on you, I probably would have forgotten all about you the next day. <laughs> Damn, that's a pretty bad impression. What do you mean by Naomi focusing on me? Well, my sister... she really liked you. Oh. I'm flattered. I wish I had gotten to know her better. I'm sure knowing that would have made her really happy. It's hard when someone dies. Since I've joined OSF, I've lost so many people. It's shocking at first, but it really starts to sink in later. I'll never get to see or talk to them again. Before, I could always just use brain talk to see and talk to them whenever I wanted. Even so, the time you spent together wasn't for nothing. 
You can remember them whenever you want. We can't let it be for nothing. You said so yourself. The people we meet and the relationships we build, that's what makes us who we are. You're right. I guess we just have to keep on living, embracing the memories of those who've passed. I'm really glad I didn't lose my memory. Thanks again. I'm glad we talked. I feel better too. We should have another talk like this soon. We're back on the same team again. As long as it has some meaning, sure. I don't really like small talk. <laughs> That's fair enough. Looks like you're still you. I sure I'm glad we're working together again. Yes, me too. Kasani and I really haven't changed all that much. But now we can tell each other what we really think. You're strange. Huh? What is? Your existence. At first, you seem like someone trivial. Someone who would be neither useful nor harmful. But you're just a good person. A quality I've learned to not dislike. I'm a little curious about you. What? I see. Um, thanks? Gemma, got a minute? What is it? Did something happen? I had Wataru go through the list of retired soldiers after we talked about your friend. I told him he was missing since I thought that was important. I'm sorry. Well, that's fine. Nobody's trying to hide that. So, did you find out anything? I haven't looked yet. I thought you might be able to notice something if we looked at it together. I'm sending the data to you now. This lists the present status of retired OSF members. I told him to only look at members who retired this past spring, so I'm pretty sure your friend is on here. Oh, I found him. Masaki Fujikawa. There's even details on his living situation. Why is the OSF tracking retired members so thoroughly? Wait. What? What's wrong? This is ridiculous. Look here. Let's see. Shortly after entering the OSF hospital, Masaki Fujikawa died? No. I don't buy it. If he died in the hospital, his family would have been notified. Something doesn't add up. You're right. There are too many here that are listed as dying in the hospital, and all of them in such short periods. No matter how supposedly damaged these retired soldiers are, they can't all need hospitalization that badly. Hey guys, so I dug a little deeper on that retirement list you're talking about. Seems pretty clear to me these are doctored. Publicly, they all died in the hospital. However, there's no record of their bodies being moved. There's a chance they're still alive in there. Really? I can't say for sure, but they went through the trouble of falsifying these records. Which means there's a high chance the hospital is involved in something unsavory. Are they being used in human experiments? Many retired soldiers don't have families. It's a horrible thing to say, but nobody's asking questions if they turn up missing. I'd like to say it's only a guess, but going by the OSF hospital's previous track record? Then we should get on this now. If they're being used in human experiments, we need to save them right away. Data. Huh. The data lists them being admitted to the new OSF hospital building. Though maybe they were moved to the old building for experimentation. That's possible, but there's actually something else suspicious I found. I was tracking the vehicles going to and from the OSF hospital to see what they're up to. And I found a strange vehicle that would head from the hospital to Ceyron once in a while. There's actually one out now. I can't imagine they'd be making deals with Ceyron right now. What are they doing? I don't know. 
but they could be transferring the patients to some facility we're not aware of. We should start by tracking down that vehicle, since that's our only lead. They need to cross the river if they're heading to Seiron. We should be able to find it if we head to Mizuhagawa. I'll see if I can find more info on it. Thank you for helping me find Masaki. Let's find him soon. Good news, you two. I managed to access the details of that vehicle leaving Suo through its ID number. I was right. The cargo manifest listed names of hospital patients. Your friend Masaki was on it. Then he's on that vehicle. Yeah, there's definitely a chance of that. It's stopped right now. I'll send you its location. You need to get over there ASAP. That's the vehicle Wataru was talking about. What is it doing stopped there? They're unloading something. They look like garbage bags. I don't see any patients. So it was a garbage truck? Does that mean Wataru's information was wrong? No. They'd be taking trash to the garbage facility. So what are they? Let's check their contents after they leave. I'm getting a bad feeling. Yeah. It's targeting that bag. But why? It's what I feared. No, stay away from that. Gemma! Damn it. I guess we're doing this. Damage to outer shell confirmed. Keep going and break it. <laughs> More! More! Good timing! Next. That finishes the job. No problems to report. Now! If your body begins to burn with fire, it'll drain your health, so be careful. Use fire when it's covered in oil. 
to the wrong conclusion. I misidentified the cargo. I never thought they'd be carrying human brains in the waste disposal vehicle. Then those bags are... Damn it. It was too late. Masaki's already... Not just him. They treated all these people like they were trash. They fought for decades, risking their lives to fight for humanity. None of them deserve to end like this. <sighs> I'm sorry. I lost my cool for a moment. Anybody would if they found out their friend was treated this way. I'd like to bury the ones who didn't get eaten by the other. Do you mind waiting here? I'll help. Let's give them a proper burial. Thank you. You too, Wataru. I appreciate your help. I'll have to tell Masaki's younger brother later. I don't mean to overstep, but... Would it be okay if I went with you? I'd appreciate that. You must be Gemma. Yes. There's something I need to tell you about Masaki. I'm sorry, but your brother has died. What? Are you certain? Yes. I can't share the details with you as it's classified. But he passed away in the hospital and was buried in a secret location. Oh. I'm sad to hear that. I'm sorry. If I'd only found him sooner... It's okay. Please allow me to apologize as well for calling you cold. Huh? I actually received a message from my brother after I spoke to you, saying he had to be taken into the hospital. He told me not to worry about him and that he might not be able to contact me for a while. He also shared his true feelings. Let me send you his message. He... My brother was thankful to you for your tough love, for trying to help him move on from the OSF. After everything we've been through together, I don't have to talk to him to know what he's thinking. Gimma was always there for me. Awkward and earnest. Masaki. It was my misunderstanding. My brother's memories of you were always there helping him. My brother wrote that he was ready to build a new life, free from the past, once he's discharged from the hospital. Unfortunately, that never happened. But he never would have had that hope if it wasn't for you. Thank you for saying that. I'm glad I was able to meet you today. Goodbye. <sighs> Gemma? You knew what I was trying to do. Your brains weren't connected. But your hearts were. Masaki. Is he crying? <laughs> Sorry. We should go back to the hideout. Okay. I guess I don't need to mention it, but you don't avoid me. I have no reason to. Do other people avoid you? Yeah, the youngsters probably feel awkward around an old man like me. 
I'm used to it, but it can still hurt, so I'm grateful. trust each other yeah I trust you to have my back There you are, Yuito. Perfect. I wanted to talk to you. Come with me to Musubi's. What's with the tone? I mean, I have time, but what do you want with me? I'll tell you there. I'll go on ahead. Don't keep me waiting. What if I had plans or something? Nah, he's so selfish. About time. Told you not to make me wait. You'd complain no matter how fast I got here. So, what do you want to talk to me about? I'm looking for something. Did Captain Seto leave a package with you? Captain Seto? No, he didn't. <laughs> he had said he wanted to give me something. He couldn't keep that promise. But if he left it for me somewhere, I'd like to have it. Oh, so it's like a keepsake then. That's right. He didn't give it to you. So do you have any idea where he would put something like that? Hmm... Maybe the hideout. I don't remember anything like that, though. Maybe you saw it, but you just forgot. I guess, maybe. I don't even know what it is. It must be some kind of small package or box. I think. Just go check the hideout again. Hang on. You want me to look for it? I don't have time for that. I don't have time either. You can use your psychokinesis to search faster, can't you? You're the perfect man for the job. He's acting all high and mighty. He should be more humble if he's asking a favor. But if there really is a gift for Shiden, Captain Seto would be happy if I gave it to him. Fine, I'll look, but don't pout if I can't find it. What? I don't pout, I'm not a kid. Just get going. I just came from the hideout. He's a pretty harsh taskmaster. You're back. Did you find something? Yeah. I found a case with your name written on it in a corner of the hideout. I don't know if it's what you're looking for. Let me see. This is a battle mask. Captain Seto left this for me. So it was a gift from him. Is that a card in there with it? Yeah, looks like it. Dear Shiden, I'm sorry I couldn't put you in my platoon. This doesn't make up for it, but here's a gift. This mask contains special electrodes that will make it easier to control the direction of your electrokinesis. It's the same type as mine, but yours is specially made. I hope you like it. Shiden, you are the hardest worker I've ever seen in the OSF. I know you'll continue to grow stronger, so trust in your own strength. I know you'll be even better than me. I don't plan on losing, though. We'll be good rivals. I can't believe he thought so highly of me. Damn it. There was so much I wanted to learn from him. You were good friends with Captain Seto. He was the only one in the OSF who saw something in me. He was a very special person. I only fought with him for a short time. But I know that he was an amazing man. He was calm, dependable, and kind to everyone. I want to be like him someday. You want to be like Captain Seto? You say it like anyone can do it. If someone like you could be like him, I would have been just like him a long time ago. What's wrong with you? I understand you think highly of him, but I work hard too. You don't get it, rich boy. 
Just working hard won't get you very far in this world. I can't believe you think you can get to his level. You have no idea what you're talking about. Fine, I won't say it anymore. You got your gift, so I'm out of here. Hey, wait! <sighs> what? I haven't thanked you for finding this mask yet. Well done. Was that his idea of a thank you? I did it for Captain Seto. Tell me if you need me again. <laughs> if I feel like it. He's pompous, rude, and really mean. But he's not all bad, I guess. If I'm as open-minded as Captain Seto, will I see him differently? Yuito, do you have a minute? I need to talk to you. Yeah, if we're just talking. What is it? I'm not gonna ask you to do anything. I'll be waiting at Masubi's, so come by later. Same Shiden as always. I wonder what he wants this time. You're late again, but it's fine. I forgive you. Uh, thanks. So, what do you want? I have some things to say about the way you fight. The way I fight? Yeah. I've seen you fight many times, and you have a lot of wasted movement. You're no longer a cadet. If you want to call yourself an OSF soldier, don't just flounder around. On the battlefield, you need to always be reading your enemy's movements and consider your next move. Use your brain. So he calls me here to criticize me? What the hell is he thinking? Hey, are you listening? I'm spending my precious time on you here. Hang on. I don't really know what's going on. Why did you want to talk? Because you helped me before, however slightly. I'm returning the favor by giving you some advice. That was advice? It sounded a lot like you were making fun of me. What? You can leave if you don't want my advice. I thought you'd want to get stronger. He's annoying, but he has been in the OSF longer than me. If he really wants to help, I guess I'll listen. All right, I'm all ears. A wise decision. You can't win without hard work. Though I'm sure that doesn't make sense to someone who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. He can't stop with the insults. I bet he doesn't have any friends. Back to the subject. I told you to read your enemy's movements but it must be hard for an inexperienced rookie to do that. Instead of relying on hazy knowledge, it's better to work on reaction time and calm decision-making skills. I see. Unfortunately, you lack both right now. It's a miracle you're still alive. <coughs> was it incredibly good luck, or was it your teammates? If you don't want to die young, you need to get better. I listened to you, and all you did was insult me. You hate my guts. Any reason why? What? I go out of my way to help you, and you think that's an insult? Come on, that last bit was definitely an insult. Fine. I'll tell you if you really want to know. I haven't liked you since the first day I met you. Since I was scouted, I worked for years to get strong. I've been near death more times than I can count. How could I like someone who was born in the Sumeragi family and pampered his whole life? Who my family is doesn't matter. I'm my own person. No matter what you think of yourself, everyone else only sees the Sumeragi boy. That... that may be true, but... That's why everyone was prejudiced against me, even though I worked so hard. But if I say that, Shiden will have a field day with it. <sighs> If you don't like it, 
You have to become strong enough to surpass your name. But if you can't listen to advice, it'll be impossible. The fact that a volunteer soldier like you made it into Captain Seto's platoon had to have been because of your family connections. What? Another thing I hate is those dolls you guys collect. That little packin or whatever. What's cute about such a weird little thing? There are some things you just don't say. It's Baki, not Packin. That's rude to Baki. What's with you anyway? You're just spewing insults now. What? You're the one who complained when I was just trying to give you advice. That wasn't advice. It was just nagging and insults. I've had enough. I'm out of here. Fine. What's with him? Did he actually think that was advice? It's like he's made of insults. Next time he calls me, I just won't show up. <laughs> There's that stupid face again. That's how you start a conversation? Sorry, I call it like I see it. I suppose I'm getting used to it, though. You make sure to stay alive so I can always see your stupid face. Getting to see how to handle you. Uh, is that something I should be happy about? right now, Yuito. I was hoping you'd come out to Masubi's with me. I feel fine, but you're not dragging me out to another eating campaign, are you? Nope. I developed a new battle support program and I really wanted you to test it. It's a special program that I don't want to show anyone else yet. So that's why you don't want to do it here at the hideout? Hmm. I'm a little suspicious about all this, but I guess I can go hear her out. So, you said you wanted to test this battle support program? Yeah, I want you to try it out. Is it safe? That's what the test is for. We don't have much time, let's get started. I'm installing it now. Okay, it's installed. Try using your power. Power? Uh, okay. I can lift up this cup. <laughs> What's going on? I'm seeing noise. Calm down. It'll go back to normal once you stop consciously using your power. Oh, you're right. That really surprised me. Nice. It was a success. What is this program? When it detects power usage, it affects your visual senses to discourage its use. I call it the forced break program. What? Why did you make a pointless program like that? It's not pointless. If you apply various conditions to the program, you'll be able to restrict overworking. It's even more effective with an organization like the OSF where powers are necessary. Nobody can be working 24-7. In other words, I considerately made this program so people can use it as an excuse to rest. I still think it was pretty reckless to stick it in my head. Anyway, you can't fight now, which means you have to rest. Enjoy your free time. Well, I am pretty tired. Why don't you order something? Nothing like eating your favorite food into a food coma. Okay then. <sighs> I guess I'll take a break. Although, I've got tons of problems I should be dealing with. I wish Nagi were here. <sighs> What's with all the sighing? Am I that boring? Oh, sorry. 
I didn't mean anything like that. There's just so much happening that I'm having a hard time relaxing. I don't know how to deal with it. It's easy. Just do whatever it feels like your body wants to. You know, like this. Just lean back. Ah, oh, that's so relaxing. You try. Wow, that's quite the position. I wish I saw you like this before I enlisted. What's that supposed to mean? Before I enlisted, I only knew you through the press. You were so friendly and lively. That's when I'm on the clock. This is me off the clock. If you don't know when to switch between the two, you're going to break down. I make sure to stay off the clock as long as I can so I don't break. I think you should do the same. Thanks for your concern, but I can't just... I see. I'm not trying to push anything on you. I apologize, but I learned a lot. Wait, did you uninstall the program? I'll try to tone down my advice from now on. Time to call it a day. She does it so she doesn't break. I guess that's one way to live. Although, that program is a little overkill. You're so serious, Yuito. Ever since we met, you've been going out of your way to help people. I'm not going out of my way. Why? Is that a problem? Kinda. Guess being a problem is how rookies grow up. So keep doing it. Though, I don't plan on taking care of you. Very intriguing. I'd like to analyze, uh, get to know you more. I don't know how to feel, but I'm glad you're interested. <laughs>